In this video, we're going to take one of the most beautiful train rides in Europe, contemplate what color to paint the kitchen, hit a very rocky patch in the upstairs bathroom renovation, and have some kind of toilet paper problem that, to be honest, I still don't understand. <laughs> How? <laughs> I have no idea. Plus, we celebrate a special birthday on Escape to Aberdeen. As you can tell, I'm not at Everdeen. I am, in fact, on the train to Everdeen on the way back in from being in Nîmes. And it's a little unusual because I'm coming up from the south instead of coming down from Paris. But it's really a treat because this train is known as one of the most beautiful train routes in Europe. And it really lives up to that reputation. It is gorgeous. back at Everdeen. It was such a nice train journey. It is a full day here and I think the project that we're going to jump in on today is to cover up the pipes in the upstairs toilet. Um, I'll show you guys in just a second but basically the pipes are all exposed and we need to do build something um, that will cover them up and make them a little bit more um, presentable. So I'll show you what's going on in, in the upstairs toilet here. So at the moment all the pipes are just exposed and also where the wallpaper ends right there. So what we're going to do is try to build a little wooden um, structure <laughs> to cover up the pipes and then also to make sort of a little corner table right here which is where the sink will be in this bathroom. Um, you, can see, you can see that the, um, the pipes for the water and the evacuation of the sink are right there ready to be hooked up so we just need to build the thing for the sink to sit on and uh yeah and uh, that'll be the final task up here in this bathroom that needs to be done so then this bathroom will be 100 percent done hello did you what are you where are you coming from what I'm you been doing from downstairs to check the wood screws to make sure we got wood screws and lag bolt plastic mounts and a hammer drill bit that will match them. Okay, good. Let me check in here right quick. So, in this step... heavy equipment box that I put out of here 17 times a day. Well, you're welcome to put it somewhere else, like in the garage if you want. Yeah, but up here is where we use it. Yeah, but it would be much better to organize all the tools and put them all down in the garage, which is what I want to do eventually. So step one, take stock of what we have. Step right. two, go to hardware store to buy wood and possibly more uh, screws and nails and things. Correct. Step three, attempt carpentry. Step four, what do you mean attempt carpentry? Fail miserably at carpentry. Step five, drink. Yeah. No, that's backwards. Step one, drink. drink. Right. Okay. Then step two, make the plans. And then step three, oh boy. And then when we fail at the carpentry, we can say we failed at it because of the drinking. That's true. I like this plan.
All right, what did we purchase? What? What did we purchase? Uh, we have three, uh, in the U.S., I would call them two by fours or one by twos, but they're not one by twos. There are so many uh, centimeters by so many centimeters, but I don't know. But they're three sticks is what they are. <laughs> okay. Of wood. So these are going to, this is going to be the legs and the frame. And then we didn't purchase like the large flat plywood pieces yet, but they're going to be like the main body of the thing. But we're right. going to do That's the right. frame yeah, first. Build up the frame and then, and then screw the plywood pieces onto them. Okay. So basically does. the plan here as I go over to the little bathroom, is that we're going to put a piece of wood on the wall all along here. And then just about this height, so just slightly higher than this pipe, is going to be uh, like a little wood cabinet thing covering that pipe. That is the plan. We're going to have half of it, like this side of it, supported by wood that is attached to this wall. And then the other side of it, the outside part of it, supported by legs. Theoretically. Right. Oh, it's shaking the wood really mm. hard. I see you've come back to the construction work armchair. We're debating what size of screw to use. Yeah, what size drill to use for this? And it, uh, we can look at this company has a website, so we can look quickly and see what they say. Because mm. they did not write the size drill bit to use on here. Mm. So, uh, I think it might be a size eight. Why do you think it might be a size eight? Because it says per cell eight, and well, we don't need that a means... per cell. We need a drill bit. <laughs> that means drill eight. Oh, it does. Uh huh. Oh. Okay. <laughs> so we will so this on. is you're saying uh that the good thing was while well, we bought a drill when we bought the drill mm -hmm. with a battery it works much better there's no battery well, attached to it right now well there you go uh <laughs> it this is a hammer drill which means a standard drill when you press the button it just goes Zzz. but a hammer drill when you press the button it goes and whoop, boom, 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 boom at the same time. So for wood, you don't need that. But for masonry and concrete, it's a real good thing. As other, otherwise, it would take eternity to drill a hole for this thing. Yeah, but how, how does it go again? Z and blam, 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 blam. Mm, interesting. Actually, it does it both at the same time. So it's like blam, blam, zim, blam, zim, blam, zim, blam, zim, blam. Wow. That's it. This is the wrong stick. Where is, oh, there's the stick we're hunting for. Let's get that. All right. This is going well. Uh, we're going to go there. So we want this sucker to be about halfway down the board, and that would be about here. And that will be back where the wall, the, the stick is. Do you want to, do you want to measure it so we can put the anchor in the right place on the wall more easily? Ma'am? Do you want to measure for us to put the right anchor in the right place on the no, wall? Going, that's, this is going to take care of it. We're going oh, to it's going to mark it. We're going to mark through the hole. Okay. That's why I'm doing this. Okay. Okay, that didn't work so well. There it is right there. You, <laughs> you look like you're doing construction work in a jungle. <laughs> that's exactly right. Look out there and hand me that set of anchor, that set of um, um, blue hammer drills in it. And the hammer drill that we took out to use. The hammer drill bit is what I'm talking about. This? Yes, ma'am. And then there's one laying down the other one. There's the one that we're going to use. If I could mark it using the end of this, but then I would dull that point and it never would work good again. Hmm. So I'm going to get one of these guys out and run through the hole because it won't matter if this touches concrete. Yeah, I'm gonna do the hole. Let me get through it. Oh, jeez. Don't squish your feet. Now we'll get into position. That looks good, right? Mm hmm. That looks good. I think so. Come up here. Use a 
and B to put the pressure on it a little bit. Try to go through and just mark the wall. Uh -huh. And here's what's going to happen. All the damn... See, there it is right there. So now we know where to drill our hole. But that dang, what I'm worried about is all that sand is going to come off the wall. That stuff's not solid enough to hold crap. All right, that's in there, but I don't think that's far enough into that wall to hold crap, but we'll try it and see. So what we're doing is getting into all of that stuff. Okay, so now we're going to take this and put it right here. And so now what I need, if you would get me, is that little box of all those drill bits that's sitting up out there. Isn't it nice that I can make so many things from here? I am glad I can help you. <laughs> huh? I'm glad I can help you. Yes, ma'am. I just help us otherwise. handing you a series of things. <laughs> okay, we may have to. Is that up to, that's about in the right place, isn't it? It looks good to me. All right. Now the question is, that. this is what happens when everything is off key. Yeah, well, welcome to this house. <laughs> well, yeah, that's exactly right. That's just part of the ball game. No, that's no good. Oh. See, that's the problem. That's the problem right there. And that's why, in my view, we're going to need to use construction cement along with these things. All right. Well, we can do that. We have any? We have any of that construction cement now? I think so. Where is it? Uh, it should be in the armoire. I'll check. All right. Well, after much discussion, we've decided that we don't have the right glue. So, someone you can see over my shoulder has decided to take the the evening off, and I think that's a good idea. So we're going to chill and watch a movie for the rest of the evening and then uh, tomorrow morning go and buy the correct glue and then resume work. But what helper number one doesn't know is that it was his birthday a few days ago. He does know that. He, he knows when his birthday is. But <laughs> um, we uh, got a little birthday treat. It's way too hot for cake or for baking anything. So we got ice cream and a cookie and um, we're just gonna do a little post-birthday treat. Uh, shall I light them up? I think we should move fast. Mm -hmm. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy I love that we can make it to you across the Happy birthday. wind of the fan. Happy birthday, birthday to, to you. Oh, that's so sweet. Maybe more. Thank you. <laughs> Poof. Yay! He made it. He blew yes. out all three oh, candles. That's so sweet. <laughs> oh, I hope I got it. I'm going to be quick for it, Mel. What are you doing? <laughs> those oh, those oh. are the candle holders. <laughs> What was that? I said, too bad Laurent couldn't be here. I'm your child. I know. Man. <laughs> nice I know I'm not your favorite. <laughs> You're both my favorite. <laughs> I'd like to point out that you've met Laurent in person for six days, and he's already usurped me. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that was a lot of energy. Yeah, well, it's cool and drippy outside, but it sure beats 100 degrees. Yeah, it's nice uh -huh. that the weather's changed a bit. Hey, um, look there. what I got. That is just beautiful. Aren't the they beautiful? first grapes in the garden are ready. All the grapes on that bush, on that vine by the wall, mm -hmm. um, which is the one that gets the most sun, are this dark purple cover, color. And if you go over by the window, go over and look out the window, you can see it. Look how many there are. Well, I found I found at the uh, at the uh, Brico Pro 
the other day just what you need. What's it's that? It's a little wine press, a little grape press. If I, think I wouldn't need. mind trying to Let's do wine look. this year. I think it would be a great idea. It's a little thing, and you put the but grapes look. in it, and you have a turner, and you turn it and smushes them. Because look how many grapes we have. They're everywhere. All the purple ones on that vine. They are just great. We're and never going to the, eat them. There's now, Now's the time to get them if you're going to get them. Yeah. It takes up. Now, see, that's taken up at low pressure. We don't want to overdo it because it's liable to pull it out, but I think it'll hold just enough for us to put the glue under there. Okay. And then we can tighten it up more than that after the glue is taken up if we want to. Okay. All right. All right, so let's do so this we, in now. Should, should I load up the glue in the. In uh, the yeah, put the white glue, glue in the glue gun, please. All right. Okay, let's see if that'll let it take up better. Can I help? Uh, no, I'm just gotta. I'm having to countersink the hole, so the head the head is too far out. So we're having to build a little extra large hole, so the head is going to end up about down here ah. and go all the way to the end of the plastic piece in order to swell the plastic piece as much as possible. Okay. See what I'm saying? So that's what I'm doing. It's it's called countersinking. So, the I, I can't really help with that, can I? I know. I'm just gotta stick it in here. Okay. No I might quickly while you're doing a one man job, I might go in the kitchen and do the um go right ahead. the testers of paint that I bought. That'd be a good deal. All right. Apparently I'm unnecessary at the moment. So instead I'm gonna do some little swatches of paint with these two testers that I bought at the hardware store yesterday. Because I still have no idea what color I want to paint the kitchen. So today we're trying shades of pink. We've done shades of green. We've done shades of blue. Today we're trying shades of lavendery pink. I don't know what color I want to do. Oh, that's really dark. That, that's probably going to be too dark for the kitchen, isn't it? Yeah. Too much contrast because the rest of your kitchen's so light. Yeah, I'm putting some by this part that's going to stay white and then some by this furniture that's going to be white just so we can see how it looks next to both things, but I think this one's way too dark. Yeah. The top one by the hutch looks more gray in the video, but in reality it has a nice mauve look. Yeah, I like to do this room in a warm color, I think, because I think for kitchens it's kind of nicer with, with food and makes things more appetizing when it's a warm color. But I also was thinking about like a, like a pale gray green. I don't know, I'm so indecisive about this. I've changed my mind about it like 14 times. What you're telling me is that you don't see it in any of those yet. I don't know. I don't... The, the pale... The pale lavender mauve color. The lighter one of the two I just did. It looks quite beige on the video. It does. But in reality, it's, it's not. much pinker. Mm, if I had to choose one, I'd choose that one. In fact, for some reason, I don't know. Maybe because it's drier here. It's lighter. See, the other thing is, I wonder if even that's too dark. Mm. I think that the the mauve, like even the mauve next to the white seems much darker. And I want to keep it really light. But the other option is to order um, a sample. My, my friend uh, Georgie so showed me a... Um, some colors that she'd use for her house from a, a paint company that I'd have to order a sample from them online to try a sample. But there was a like very pale green that they had that looked like something I might really like. So if only someone were coming from England here soon. Well, I'm going to England in like two weeks. Oh, that's true. But it's it's something, it's not like a shop in England. You have to order it online, mm -hmm. whatever. So whatever uh, you do here locks you into your splash tiles. Are you thinking with white splash tiles? Yeah, probably. I just don't know. I just don't know. 
All right, back to the, the toilet. Um, what's happening? I don't know, the toilet paper somehow unrolled during the middle of all of this. How? I have no idea. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Set it out there somewhere, man. All right. The glue gun bent or something. Let me see what I can do to fix it. See what do you it mean it bent? Loose? That's how it's always been. Yeah, this thing right here. This, this is this part here. Let me just see what Wasn't I Wasn't it do. like that before? I don't think so, but let, all right. There. I think that's it was like... In, that's back in the hole. It seems to be bent or something. Can I try putting the glue in it? Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Maybe that so... I hope that was four, because if it is, I'll be sick. Was it? I'm going to check that milk. I think it's sick. I think it's something wrong with it. Mom, I'm going to check the milk. Do we think this milk was spoiled? It's now empty. It doesn't smell strongly to me, the container, but I guess it's empty now. May or may not have poisoned Dad. It's a little dairy on the project. To be honest, even without being poisoned, I'm not sure any of us are going to live to see the end of this project. In the year 2085. <laughs> what was that? I've got the spout open. Oh, good. So we can glue. We can try to glue. If the if the cheap bent thing down there will work. I really don't did think it's decide, bent. Did y'all decide if the milk was spoiled or not? We can't tell. It probably is. It's just probably that funny taste of milk. I should know better than to just grab something and start drinking it without carefully testing it first. See all the goop? Does mom try to poison you often? No, but I can tell you, when you're working on stuff, we had a situation where at one place I was working where somebody had put, they were using paint thinner and they'd put some paint thinner, which is clear, in a water bottle and left it sitting there because they were just using a little paint thinner and somebody else thought it was their water bottle and grabbed it up and took a big drink of paint thinner and ended up in a hospital yeah, seriously but messed up. I will point out that this drink was brought to you by your wife of 52 years who has not murdered you yet. 56 years and she's trying. <laughs> Uh, maybe we should put some on the rest of the board, too. No, ma'am, it doesn't touch the wall. That's what I... That's yeah, what I but if you put it thick enough, it uh, might reach to it, the wall. No, it's that much. We're, what we're going to do is make a wood sandwich after this is taken up and put glue on it and stick it in there, and that will do mm. what you're suggesting. That's What you're suggesting is right. It's just that you have to make a modification uh, so that it, it will take up. We're going to cut a little piece of wood and stick in between the wall and that with goop on both sides. And that will do that. I'm starting to see why mom tried to poison you. It just It's just like sand. You, it just falls off the wall. Now he's wrapping a screw in tape. Yeah. Don't know why. Now he's hammering a screw wrapped in tape into the wall. I think this may now have become more emotion driven than logic driven. <laughs> okay, all of the wood pieces have been attached to the wall and they seem pretty sturdy. <laughs> I think that's at least enough to hold up one small sink. So uh, while the glue dries, we're going to take a quick break, go into the garden. I'm going to do some aerial training. And uh, maybe we're going to go for like an evening drive around the, the local area because it's really pretty th this evening. We just got back from having just a little evening drive around the town and looked out the back window and it's so pretty and there's a rainbow and it's really cute. Um, I think that's because there's, um, there's quite a lot of rain in the distance and so there's a really dark background. Well, why am I telling you about it? I'm going to show you. This is a video I can show you. Um, but look at that. With the rainbow. And it's just started to sprinkle rain. It's gorgeous. Very nice. Are you zipping on over really there? That's really distinct. What? Are you running on over there? I'm going to find that gold. That's a really distinct rainbow. It really it's is. Yeah, because bigger. you have that dark 
background behind it makes it much easier to uh -huh. see. That's beautiful. Yeah. It's raining over to the west. Wow. It's raining South, here. Southwest. Is it raining here? Yeah, can't you hear it? Uh-uh. Mm -mm. I can't I can't see rain. It's so pink. Oh well. Hello. I heard sawing downstairs. Yeah, okay, we got the top cut. Oh. So I've got it laying on in here. So you Let's see. see. You to. Yeah. I lay all this extra board out here. Oh. All right. So what? The rock put all the plumbing in down there and all, and all we're doing is cutting the top and putting it on here. Uh -huh. But as you can imagine, this angle was not 90 degrees. Really? But the problem you is... You surprised me greatly. It wasn't a little less than 90 degrees, which meant you could take a regular 90 degree angle and just trim it all off. It was more than 90 degrees. So we had to figure it out and then cut this whole thing to fit. And we couldn't just cut it out of a 90 degree angle on a board. We have mm -hmm. to adjust for all that. But after much figuring and cutting and sewing by hand, because as this side here will show, I am the world's worst jigsaw operator. <laughs> so we cut this side simply with a small hand saw by hand and it came out better. But Good. since either one of them will be covered by a piece of trim, a quarter of an inch wide, no problem. The trim will go here in here and we cut it to overhang there's another board this was not quite long enough so we got to cut okay. a little board out of this same stuff and put right there i was going to ask about that so basically yeah. you're just going to cut another little piece of wood to fill well in actually there. what we could do is <laughs> leave this it's as so a crazy. dirty sock receptacle and when you take off your dirty socks in here you could just stick it through that hole and everything would be good unless you ever want to get your dirty socks out well anyway no we got to cut a little piece and put right there Mm -hmm. And then this goes on top. And so the way this is going to work then is there'll be a little screw here and a little screw yeah. there and two over here so that you can take that off easily to work on the plumbing yeah. and the trim will go over the screw head so they don't show That's off. great. So you just need to put in that one little piece and then we're ready to paint it? And then what? We're ready to paint it. Uh, if you're ready, you can go ahead and paint it if you want to. Right. This piece here, we had a cross piece already in here, but this cross piece can come out now. It's not doing anything. All of these, this framing. Well, you we might as well just leave it. Yeah, if it, if the sink will go in and, and clear it, we can just leave it. The if sink's not going in. The sink is sitting on top. Well, it just sits on top. Well, yeah. in that case, that's no sweat at all. Yeah. Okay. All right, no problem. Great. All of this stuff is screwed together and glued to the wall with construction. You've been very easy. thorough. Plus, there are some screws that go into mounts on the wall so it's not going anywhere. I, I don't I did not think that it was. I could sit on this just to show how strong it was. Go ahead. I risk a destructive video so I'll put go it ahead. I well you brought it up now you have to do it. Okay. <laughs> Yay. Okay so I guess the trick is opening this so that uh, we can take it back if we need to because we're not sure that this is the correct size. That's nice. I think it looks pretty good. Yeah, you just have to have room. You're filming, you're filming the wall. Oh, yeah. Well, Dad. everybody wants to see the wall. Uh-huh. You just have to have room to make sure that the faucet will sit in there behind it. And I believe one yeah, of those but I think it single will. spout guys will. Because we could even pull mountain? this a lot closer to the flat. Oh, yeah, you could bring it on out. out. Yeah. And that's a lot of space for a faucet there. The Let's see what the... doesn't have to sit behind it. it could sit yeah, it could put the side it or something. Oh, that's true. I think so I, I mean, pull it out again where it would actually be. Out. Put it out like really close to the edge. Somewhere there. Even more. Yeah, I think that looks good. That's great. Yeah, and then the little guy will be back here probably. Uh huh. Spouting over the side and it'll have a one lever, hot cold. It could amount. even be cuter to put it on the side. I like mom's, what mom said about putting it on the side. Could just be more like. No, not the sink. This oh, put the in the faucet. Oh. Yeah, you could do that. Over there. I got you. Could be cute. Yeah. Okay, we've moved outside to paint the panels for the, the little bathroom furniture that we're building. Uh, 
basically we just dis disassembled it and brought it outside because this would be easier and neater. I have to say it's not the most satisfying painting when you're painting white on white. I know. <laughs> it's really satisfying when you see something become a different color, but this is just kind of boring. But it is very forgiving. That's true. You can miss a lot of spots before they become noticeable. Yep. Ahem. Your paint is dripping onto my paint. It's because my paint's better. Please stop sabotaging me. My paint's better. All right, we're jumping into putting the, the furniture. This doesn't look like furniture, but it will. Into the bathroom. This is what we built to hide well, the pipe. The question is, what is, what, what is furniture? Is furniture a chair or is furniture the cabinets in your kitchen? This is more like cabinets in your kitchen than it is a chair in your living room. But you can call it furniture. Okay, Nietzsche, put the thing in the bathroom. <laughs> okay, this is the main part out here that goes to make the wall of the upright. Okay, so that was the, the front part, the front panel. Yeah. And this is All the right, top this panel. This side goes up now. There's one side that is noticeably smoother because I sanded it, and that side should go up. Noticeably what? Smoother. Feel it. You'll feel a difference. You tell me which one it is. Not that side. The other side. That side. Okay. Let's hope it fits because I cut it one way or the other. I can't move. Well, right now you're trying not. to put uh, the. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. No more to edit. That is not correct. Well, can it just be like that? If you want it like that, it's, 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 that's the way it was cut. Yeah, but that side has not got a top coat okay. of paint on it. No problem. Just have to make sure that you're. I don't know why it doesn't fit any better than that. What are you? This to, that's supposed to be back there. It looks fine. Well, look at this big gap over here. See, I went through all this business of cutting to fit the wall. But we're gonna put but that gonna trim put, thing. Fine, yeah. No it goes like that. That looks good. Okay, let's look right here because that's not matching so well. What's going on here? I want to see. I want to see. This is supposed to go up here. All this worked perfectly before. What's going on? That's good. With that sink, it's going to be great. Yeah. Okay, what I'm going to do is run a bead of construction adhesive along the top of this board, okay? Alright. Which seals it and should take up the gap and act as glue all at the same time. Okay. Now we're gonna come down on top of it and it's gonna be a gooky mess, so don't get too excited about it. Right there and right there. And now we're gonna winkle it into position out here, like that and like this. Push down and goop the junk out. And then try to wiggle it to the bit we get the best joint we can get. And put it under pressure. Come on down, boy. All that is sticking out, we ain't worried about that. Your go-to tool for everything is just your finger, isn't it? I drive nails just with my finger. See, you say that, but I also could like envision you trying. <laughs> <laughs> Ready? Yeah. Ooh, it looks nice. Oh yeah, that's gonna be nice. It's a little bit more modern than I expected it to be, but because it's a bathroom, I really don't mind that it's like quite modern looking. So this is the trim that we bought to go as kind of a little backsplash behind the sink. And uh, I guess we can go ahead and measure this and cut it. Let's see if it fits now. Oh, dang, it does fit. It looks pretty good. Oh, Let's look over there in the corner. Yeah, you just got to fill out that gap over gotta, there with yeah. some. Call putty or whatever you want to do with it and mold on it a little bit. And then you're gonna come here and take that little excess. Oh we got a little excess. We got it in 
Just, yeah, right there. That'll come out. Take that little excess off the end of that little point. Take that little end of that point off right yeah. there. That's Do you fine. want to hand me a pencil and I'll mark that part that we need to cut off? Okay. We'll lay this one down and we'll put a bunch of caulk along the back of it, right? Yep. Go for it. Okay. We got this much glue on the board and then, oh, there he goes. Uh, we ran out of glue out of the tube and dad is touring the living room apart in about the space of three minutes looking, can I say panically? I would say panically for more glue. You can say that. I got glue right here. We're just going to get this plug out of the end where it was used before. And Why have you got a drill? I'm going to drill out the plug of glue that's in it so that we can get down to the glue that's still This seems using. like a dangerous plan. I'm trying to get down the glue that's used so that we can open this up so we can get the glue out. I don't know if it's going to work or not. All right, smush him up there. And then kind of wiggle it around some so it'll squish out good. I think it's good. Okay. Look at that. I am very pleased with that. That looks good. So we're going to fill up this little hole. Uh, and then we also have to caulk um, these, these little creases here. But we're going to wait until the sink is plumbed in to do that. But this is going to look so nice. I'm very, very happy with that. Yay. Good job. Well, when you live in a 220-year-old house, you buy caulk in 50-gallon drums. Yeah, I'm beginning That's to find that out. That's to the... Hi friends, it is time for the Where Am I in France outro guessing game. Um, but before we do the guessing game, and this one's going to be tough, uh, I'll just remind you guys to please, please do subscribe because it's a huge help. It really, really helps with the YouTube algorithm and when you like videos, that's also great. Uh, and if you enjoyed this video, uh, please take a minute to subscribe because it's free and quick and easy and I'll appreciate it. It's just below the, the video right there. Anyway, now it's time for the guessing game. Um, I'll give you a couple of hints because I think that this chateau is going to be tough to guess. So a couple of small hints for this one. First off, this is a private chateau that is a hotel. Secondly, it is in the Loire Valley. And third, just to give you some, some historical clues of like maybe when it was built, if that helps you, uh, Catherine de' Medici and Henry III were guests at this chateau. So if you have a guess, please put it in the comments and I will upload a short, I'll put the deadline for when you have to guess by at the bottom of the screen right now because I'm not sure what day I'm going to upload the short. Uh, but when I upload the short, I'll have more information about this chateau for you to know about and to see if your guess was right. All right, that's today's outro chateau guessing game. So uh, I will see you guys next time.